Hey, hey, hey! What's up, Triple A Nation? It's your boy Elise and I, aka Triple A Reviews, here with another review of Alexeed. <laughs> this time we're diving into chapter 231, which is more of a continuation of what we continued last time, alright? Yesterday, or today actually, because you're seeing that video today, because you know I'm late, you know what I'm saying? I should have posted it last week, but I was still working on some kinks if you did. It, it, look, it's here now. It should be here right before this one. You got a nice little. Two piece. Got a nice little three piece of episode. Don't judge me. We do not care. Where now we're going deeper into what Ji Woo's mom is going through, right? But first we we start sitting with Ji Woo first because Ji Woo's worried about his mom's like, Mom, you haven't been she hasn't been picking up my calls. She hasn't been picking up my phone, my calls. And we're seeing Caden and Carton being like, well, you know, it's probably nothing. I mean, your mom is just your mom. I mean, of course, Caden doesn't even, Caden doesn't know everything, right? He knows a lot about the awakened world, but that doesn't mean he knows everything. So he may get suspicious. He may be skeptical and that may hit, lead him to the right solutions. But in the beginning, he does not know everything. And especially when it comes to someone like Jiwoo's mother, it wouldn't give credence for him to be skeptical at the time because of how much Jiwoo was uninvolved or uninvolved in the awakened world when he met him. So it wouldn't make sense for as soon as he get here to be like, oh yeah, his mom's just working in some dangerous stuff. You know what I'm saying? So Carden, Carden and Caden are just kind of like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Wait some more, you know, your mom should be getting back to you. I mean, all she is is a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical lady, you know? And you know, we're just sitting with Ji Woo. He's everywhere just like, Mom, Mommy, where are you? I'm worried. You won't answer my calls. Why won't you answer my calls? You have me talking to my cats. That's how lonely I look. I'm talking to my cats right now. I'm not even talking to you. Answer the phone, Mom. Oh my God. And this brooding period for him kind of continued into the next day. And once they realized they weren't getting any kind of kind of, blah, 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 a communication with Ji Woo's mother, right? Carden and Caden were like, mm, all right, let's go see this woman because something's going on if she's been communicating with you on a daily basis. By the way, we didn't know he was texting his mom on a daily basis. That's news for me. We never even saw them text. I, I barely see we But then again, it's not like we see him all the time. Yeah, right. But still, like, I didn't even know he was talking to his mama. <laughs> Like, we didn't even know about his mama until, like, way halfway in the show. We never even questioned it. You know what I'm saying? So, we decide to take a little trip. What they do is they finally go see her. Now, at first, I thought she was working in a different country, period. But then again, I thought about, you know, this is Ji Woo. I, I think she would want to stay a little closer just in case she had to stay alone. So, I believe they're still in the country of Korea at this time. But something cute to note is in one of those panels where, you know, Caden's stuck in the cargo stop because he can't be, you know, on board because he's over 15 pounds. So, he has to sit down there with all the other animals and luggage. It's he was just down there like, eh. yeah, you fatty, start running. Why hasn't he lost weight yet? But he been doing supersonic exercises and he's still tubby like Garfield. I don't get it. But yeah, man, we get to, uh, you know, where her residence should be, her humble abode should be. And humble it is. Humbly not lived in. Like, it's dusty. It hasn't been lived in for a long time. And everybody starts getting suspicious, right? Caden and Carden especially. Carden had to, uh, Caden had to unlock the door with the good old cat claw. You know what I'm saying? They're getting there. It's all dusty and stuff. And like, ah, 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 something's not right. And as we're thinking about things not being right, and we ask where Ji Woo's mom works, and she happens to work at this place called Oin, right? And we shift to Ji Woo's mother. And she's in an interrogation at the moment by, like I told y'all, the BBC crew, but the leader of the BBC crew, the bald black guy. What? And, <laughs> you know, somebody looks like Bobby Lashley with shades. And he's interrogating her and he's like, ma'am, where are the samples? I haven't done anything. All samples have to be discarded. Ma'am, where are the samples? I mean, what samples of what? Everything has to be discarded. The samples of semen. <laughs> no, but hey, yo, what the fuck? But he was asking about samples, like, where are the samples, all right? We've counted five samples missing and have gone out of the discard place and into somewhere else. Somewhere else. They're not here, though. They haven't been discarded. Like you said, they should be. And so, you know, she's just trying to feign innocence. I don't know why you're doing this. This makes no sense. Why are you coming at me with this? I, I've done my job. I've done my due diligence. There's no reason to come at me. And he's like, listen, lady, we already got somebody who's testing to find the fact that you helped them escape with the sample. So before I start having to get a little unladylike in here, start putting that D down. I'm sorry, I'm tired, what's that? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he might as well say that. He's like, before things start getting a little, 
<laughs> Pause. In here, you need to start talking. And she's just like, all right, now you can see g -Woo's mom get kind of serious. And so now we're in a position where she's getting interrogated for something, for leaking samples and stuff. And that's interesting because uh, like I said in my last video that you would have seen probably like an hour before this one, I thought g -Woo's mom was more of a neutral party in a sense of she's not working for anything bad. She may not be trying to work to do bad stuff, but bad people may be trying to use her research for bad things, even though she's trying to use it for good. Now that was my original hypothesis. Now it's looking like she's working possibly in a bad company or bad organization, and because of that, she's trying to get the good stuff out, or you know, save people as she goes. Because then we see flashbacks of her and Jiwoo, and we see how she made the decision to stay away from Jiwoo for so long after she learned about his awakened abilities and tried to work to undo them and she's working to undo them or did before. I like to run and I'm good running and Caden's my master and yeah, I'm an apprentice. You know what I'm saying? Like before all this happened, she was just like, yeah, I gotta work to undo my son's powers. And then she realized there were a lot more people she wanted to help and Jiwoo, you know, being the nice, uh, what do people say in the comments? Cinnamon roll that he is. Oh, pause. Uh, I will never call a man a cinnamon roll. I'm just referring to what the people in the comments say because I would never refer to a man as a cinnamon roll because I am the cinnamon roll, okay? I am that guy. I'm the guy you gotta put cream to. You're weird! So yeah, that's kind of what we're... We're kind of an interesting paradox here because it's like, is Ji Woo's mom working in a bad organization and trying to do good work from it? Or is she in a neutral organization and is still trying to push good and just go through un, you know, unorthodox means to get where she wants to get to? It's... It's just looking more like I know she has a good heart, but she's working in a bad place. And I think she's working in that bad place because that bad place has technology that the good places don't got. Right? Right. And keeping Jibu away from it so he can stay safe. Right? Right. Yeah. It's it's real interesting. I'm not going to lie. And just seeing more of what Jibu was able to deal with growing up, especially being by himself. And he's just like, go ahead, mom, do your own thing. And she did all this so he could be ordinary and had ordinary friends. But now he has he has extraordinary friends. He has better than ordinary friends, you know? And it's beautiful to see that in the growth of Jiwoo's character over this time period, especially with all that he's gone through um, as a character. But it's really perplexing on what is his mom involved in? What what samples are she allowing to leak? Was Amyong a sample? All the scars on him? Or was she, was he a stray that he just, she just picked up and kind of worked on and then left to go? Kind of like a, um, <laughs> a, a Batman situation. <laughs> Just kind of like, you know, pick him up, take care of him, and then let him go when he needs to go kind of thing. It's real interesting, man, but um, tell me what you guys think below. Uh, I enjoyed this chapter of Alexi as usual. It's, it's, getting more, it's getting more complicated now, and uh, I want to see what happens when Jiwoo steps in these kind of facilities because Jiwoo is now, you know, a, 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 I would say a more renowned awakened one. Maybe not be known to everybody, but he's Caden's. Everybody knows Caden has an apprentice now. That is known, right? They might not know, they have, may not have met Jiwoo, Jiwoo. But they know Caden has an apprentice now. And so I think Jiwoo just needs to be a little bit more treading carefully. And understanding that, yeah, you may be walking around a bunch of regular humans, right? A bunch of regular people right now. And I think we need to register that a little bit more. Like, Waken ones just aren't around every corner. But you do need to recognize who you are. Thank God Caden and Cartina with him. But, you know, but hey, proceed with caution, you know? <laughs> but yeah, man, uh... I enjoyed this chapter of Alexi. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Is Ji Woo's mom in a bad organization or is she just trying to pull, you know, a, a double stunt on a neutral organization and trying to go through words? What What is she doing? What is she doing? I feel like she's working on a drug, trying to undo, sam undo uh, Awaken One powers and abilities. Um, and I don't know how she's doing it, but I can't wait to figure it out. And so, yeah, with that, keep looking out for the next chapter of Views. Tomorrow I should be dropping a, a review on Mythic Item Obtained. Uh, look out for my stream tonight if you're watching this right now, because this is definitely going to be out before then. And, uh, yeah, Alias Anon, out! Jason.